Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode I want to talk about how to structure a swimming session or a series of swimming sessions. I want to start with the following question. If you go to a gym, do you go to the weight, take 5 kilos in your right hand and 5 kilos in your left hand and just do pull-ups for an hour on both sides? Would you do that? I assume not. The same thing is in swimming. As you have in gym, you will have in swimming also several intervals or several drills you need to do. You need to change up throughout your session. You need to have different sets, you need to do kicks, you need to do um, arms, you need to do intervals. You need to mix it up. What I see a lot is that people go to the pool and just swim one kilometer or two kilometer in one go. That doesn't really help you. Our body is a creature of habit and you will get used to it very quickly. Let's say you start tomorrow and you say, okay, I go three times a week. I go three times and do two kilometers a session. And then you jump in and you just swim for two kilometers. And then you do the same thing on, on, on the Wednesday and you do the same thing on Friday. The training's effect won't be that great because on Monday, after a certain time, let's say a kilometer, your body will have got used to what it did a kilometer before and will reduce its energy waste to a minimum. So it will optimize. The same thing happens on Wednesday when you go again, but then it starts earlier. It starts after about 500 meters already and it will reduce your training's effect to a minimum because it goes into safe mode, because it realized, oh, I've done that on Monday, and I'm doing it now. The same thing on Friday, even we will start earlier to go into safe mode. When I started off and throughout my career as a swimmer, and even now, as I'm training for an Ironman, I learned that you need to have, in one session, a minimum three interval sets. You would do some warm-up, kicks, drills, just easy swim, until you warm. And then you do the first main set. Can be 10 times 100 meters, 10 times 50 meters, or something like that. And then you do easy swim. 100 meters easy, just to get ready for the next interval. You can also enlarge it with some more um, kicks, or some more drills, or even some sprints. And once you've done that, you go to the second interval set. And there you do maybe the same, you can do 10 times 50 meters or 10 times 100 meters again. When you've done that, you're going to go again to, to cool down a bit, to do some drills, some kicks, and again some sprints. And get ready for the last set. It can be, again, 10 times 50 meters or 10 times 100 meters or something the likes. These three main sets I'm talking about, they have to be, or they should be structured that you don't give your body a break, so it never really can have the moment, oh, I've done that already before, or anything like that. Let's take a set like 10 times 50 meter. Let's say you swim 50 meters for, let's say, 40 seconds. Then you put 20 seconds or 30 seconds on top, so you, you have one minute or one ten on your 40 seconds. And then this is your your time when you need to go for the next 50 meter. So you do 10 times 50 meter in one minute or one minute 10 seconds. The first one will be okay. I mean, you will do your 40 and you will be able to go again. The second one too. Maybe at let's say the sixth time you will have you will struggle a bit. You get tired. Your body gets tired. But the break and you get slower and the break to 110 or one minute gets shorter. That means you have to push yourself a bit more or you have to push your body a bit more. This way your body can never go into this some sort of savings mode because your body has to constantly do something and it can't get used to what you do. And now you can structure all your sets like this. You can do it for 100 meters, you can do it for 200 meters, you can even do it for 300 meters or 400 meters. You will realize your sessions will become more interesting, more challenging, and you also will get faster, and your training's effect will be much greater than if you would go and do just two kilometers in one go. I will put 
one or two or three sample sets in the comments below. Again, this is how I was taught how to swim. I'm not telling you that you should now do 10 times 50 meters for each interval. No, I'm telling you try to do three intervals in one session. Each session always three main intervals. And these intervals you can spice them up. You can do 10 times 50 meters, you can do 10 times 100 meters, you can do 12 times 150 meters. Just always when you do or when you plan your sets, always set yourself a time. In this time you have to swim it. If you have any questions to what I just said, or if I should do more examples to the ones I have in the, in the comments below, just let me know. Send me a message on Instagram, on YouTube, or wherever. Just send me a message and ask me. I will be happy to answer as soon as possible. I hope you liked it and you could take something away. Until next time.